Joe. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do a real quick um, kind of new coach call, what the biggest things to focus on. Because, I, you know, and I'm really changing the way that I'm training my new coaches. Hold on, let me close this door. Because I, you know, I, I used to attract people that really wanted to, like, make this business their life and blah, blah, blah. And that was because... I didn't have kids then. And I attract people that didn't have kids. And they, as soon as they were home from work, they could literally spend hours and hours and hours on Beachbody. Um, but now that my target market is changing and I am a mom, I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't even, I, I didn't even shower today. My hair, I didn't even do my hair today. Like I still went to work. It was a hot mess. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to like be unreal. Okay. So what I focus on is you guys be most, and I'm going to mute, um, I don't know who is, but, um, what I'm gonna do. okay, <laughs> I don't know what was happening, so, um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I have the worst ADD, so I just have to mute you all, and if you need anything, then you can, okay, there, um, Anyways, so this is what I do. And, and so I in, actually do a power half hour before I go to work. So I um, get up and I work out at 530. And I didn't used to do this. I, did, I just started doing this about two or three weeks ago um, because I did go back to work full time. I do real estate now. So I need to get my workout done because the three times in the past couple weeks that I haven't done it before work, it did not happen after. So for me, I know that I need to do that. So I work out first thing and I actually do it live via Zoom with Greg Boggs. <laughs> He's one of our coaches too. And literally, so we're, we're doing T25 together. So we literally just, I, I do Zoom like we are right now. I share my screen and we do the workout together. And if he is like, oh, my back's bothering me today, he's got, he's kind of got back issues here and there. He's a contractor. And if he's like, oh, I'm just going to do yoga today. I literally sleep in. I cannot do it <laughs> without knowing that I'm going to meet him. So if you guys can kind of like post in the challenge group and say like, hey, who works out about this time? Even if you guys aren't doing the same workout, you can still hop on a Zoom and like, so say you did Zoom with your phone and then you had your computer over here. You guys could still do that and like, be there together and keep each other accountable because that has helped me so much. So I'm going to work out and then I do a quick power half hour. So what do I do in a power half hour? I send 10 Hey Girls. Um, or I spend 10 minutes doing Hey Girls. And I try to get at least four or five in. So that's people that are on your list. As I always say as new coaches, you should just try to write down at least 100 people that come to your mind, whether you worked with them, go through your Facebook, go through people that you worked with, went to church with, went to school with, um, whatever. So write them down and then um, just start checking off that. Or if you see somebody, somebody that pops up in your newsfeed or, you know, something like that, just yeah, like a post, comment on it, and then send them a message. Hey, girl, oh my gosh, I was dying at that video you posted of your daughter spilling chocolate everywhere. Um, I can totally relate to that. I feel like I'm crazy mom life most of the time. Um, and I don't know if you're interested or not, but I am just looking for other, like, you know, kind of crazy fun, hot mess moms to join my next um, virtual boot camp. Would you be able to handle 30 minute workouts from home? Um, and so that was kind of like a Hey Girl and an invite. So you could either do a Hey Girl, um, I, you know, and, and before you invited her and build a relationship, maybe invite her to a free group or something like that. Um, and then that would be kind of the next conversation that you had. When you basically don't know what else to say, don't talk about the weather, don't talk about stupid, boring stuff that you don't care about. Just ask them because if you ask them to join you and you invite them in a way that is like, girl, I'm doing this. I love this. It's, I seriously have had such awesome results. Check out, you know, um, my results in, you know, three weeks, two, two months, whatever you want to send them. And that's why it's so important for you to have results is you can say, you know, I was struggling hardcore with, you know, um, not going to the gym and, you know, not eating good. And I, I, realized I can do it all from home in 30 minutes. And I figured out finally how to understand food. So if you talk like you are just in how you would talk to your best friend, how you would invite your best friend, people aren't going to think, ew, you're so salesy. Like, no, they're not going to. And I have so many people that are like, 
oh, you know, I really just don't have the money or, or I'm doing my own thing right now. I'm so happy, but thank you so much for thinking of me. So I never get like, oh, you stupid freak, leave me alone. Like I've had people block me. I've had people like, I can't, I'm not saying that I don't get no, I get no a lot. Um, but the, the, but it, when you write it, like as a genuine person inviting people, they're just going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like I just signed up for a personal trainer, but th think of like, I thank you so much for thinking of me. And I say, no problem. Do you mind if I just check in with you, um, you know, next month and see if, if, see if it's a better time for you. And they're normally like, yeah, sure. That's totally fine. So even a no is not a bad, bad thing because think about it. Who here waited a little bit before you joined? Who here waited a little bit? No is just not right now, right? You didn't say no and then never did it. You thought, okay, I keep seeing this. I keep seeing this girl have results. If she can do it, I can do it. And so that's what you need to also focus on with social media. If you can do it, they can do it. Because so many people don't believe in themselves. So you need to think about the message that before you found this community, before you found, you know, this, what were you struggling with? And that is the, that is the mom that you need to connect with and you need to say, hey, I understand. I, like, I understand what it's like to be a hot mess, to not be able to do your laundry, to keep up with this, to keep up with that. And then to think to add in the gym and meal planning, like, no, I don't have four hours on a Sunday. You know, so make very real posts like that. When you think about the objections you're getting, make very real posts about the objections that you used to have as well. So say somebody's saying, I don't have the money. Okay. I didn't have the money either. I, you know, I, I had $7 in my bank account. I put it on a credit card. That does not always go over well with people because that like not everybody loves that idea. But you can also say, hey, you know, I was talking to one of my new, my um, girls and I know she's going to join us next month. She's saving up and I'm so proud of her. You know, what I get a lot of people say is they don't have the money. And what I find is, is that we don't make it a priority because we can go to McDonald's and spend $10. We can go to the movies and spend $20. We can go and do this where it all adds up that we could, but we don't prioritize it. So, you know, what I've, what I'm really, really trying, what I'm really, really proud of her is she's going to budget, um, budget out. She's going to plan her meals. She's going to shop from her list. She's going to, you know, shop at all these, um, she's going to eat out less and I can't wait for her to join her. And that's the kind of person that I want to join my tribe. Like, and honestly, like, even if you don't have somebody that, you know, said that to you, you've had plenty of people that you've talked to that have, that have had the issue of either the money or the time or this or that. So take that and make a post about it either with you or, you know, you can also post in our beautifully made coach group. So the beautifully made is all coaches. So if you say, Hey, I want some help with, um, you know, when people say I don't have the money or I don't have the time. Another thing that you can do is um, go to, I'm going to go here and show you my YouTube really quickly. So if you guys go to YouTube and search April McDonald, I have a ton of training videos. Like literally you, you, you have so much training just on my, on my YouTube alone. So um, all of this stuff is so so good so i am looking for i have a couple that are um 60 second sorry this zoom is like in my face that i need to look at where's the rest of my playlist i have more it was beautifully made hmm Okay, videos. This is strange. Okay, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna search objections because I have a, a playlist that's like how to handle. There it is. I don't know why it wasn't pop, popping up. How to battle objections in mm -hmm. seconds. So every video I made, and these are probably from 2015. Oh, I don't know where it went. But every video I made is like a minute. Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about. Overcoming objections. This 60 second objection. Okay, so I've got I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I'm not fit enough, I don't know enough people, I don't know enough about fitness or nutrition, and I'm not a salesperson. So I literally give you in 60 seconds how to battle that objection. Um, and anytime you get an objection or something like that, 
Remember the feel, felt, found method. I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way, or I had a, or if you're talking about a friend, I had a client that felt the same way. But what I found is, so feel, felt, found. So you're emphasizing, you're connecting with them, then you're telling them, you know, um, how you were able to, what you found in, in the actual reality and the outcome. So that is kind of my biggest tips is what I'm, when, when you are sitting down to work, send 10 new messages to people that genuinely like you just would like to be around, like their posts make you smile and be genuine. Go to their page, see a little that you can talk to them about. Then for 10 minutes, send invites. And so who you're gonna invite? People that are liking and commenting on your posts. So let me show you. And something that I've been doing that's been working really well is I've been calling it my mom bod boot camp. And I don't know why people just love that name. So feel free to use that as well when you're like making posts. But since using that, people are like, Mom bod boot camp. I have a mom bod. I need that. So um Feel free to use that. So, okay, another thing I do really quickly, posting is so necessary because that's where I get my people that I message each day. So I make an I make a couple albums, and so like I've got one that's like mom brain moments, and so there's like funny mom things. Um, there's Greg, there's my workout buddy today. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. Um, I try to do something like silly. Um, I'm a big hashtag lover, like barefoot and making shit happen. Like I, you know, just be yourself. Um, then, so this was also, so this was, you know, kind of mom target market. And then I have, I have six spots. P.S. I have six spots left for my next mom bod boot camp. I'm working on some awesome content. Can't wait. So I could message. Okay. So Natalie says, what is this mom bad mom bod boot camp you speak of? So this is, I'm literally just going to show you. I would go to her page. Oh my gosh, she just updated her profile picture. They're freaking matching. That's adorable. Um, I would go through, look at her little girl. She's so sweet. So um, today, three years ago, so she her daughter just turned three. Um, so I could say, you know, Let's see, da, 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 Savannah. So I would go and send her a message. I also like to see my friends, my mutual friends. So I'm pretty sure this girl is a coach. So I'm, I'm not actually going to message her. But, okay, right here I see Melissa Ludwig. So that's my sister. Um, I see a bunch of other people that I know are coaches. Um, but then I also went to high school with them, so you never know. But if I don't really know this girl. I'm not going to message her because I see she's friends with my sister. So I'm not like super close friends with her. I'm going to like check with Melissa like, hey, are you working with her? I'm not messaging her at all because I know she's a coach. But I want to show you guys what I would actually do. All right. So Natalie Perry is here. So she was like, tell me about this mom bod boot camp. So I would say, hey, girl, happy birthday. To your sweet Savannah, oh my gosh, your matching outfits are too stinking cute. I can't wait for that with Adley. Okay, thanks so much for your love on my post. I would love for you to join our mom bod boot camp with us. Tell me about you. What are your goals? I always end with a question. Okay. So, um, or I could say, tell, do you think you could handle 30 minute workouts from home? So I went to her page. I found something that I could genuinely say, genuinely talk about. So it's not like one of those, like, cold invites. I don't, I really don't like cold invites very much because for me personally, if I get a cold invite, I'm like, ugh, bleh, gross. I don't want your Mary Kay. I don't want this. I don't want that. So I really have strayed away from cold invites. So I don't care if you are not sending an invite tomorrow and you're sending 10 Hey Girls because you're not sure where to go. That's okay. Then the next day 
you can take those Hey Girls and send, you know, five or 10 invites. So does that help? No? Is that helpful? Mandy, what, what's, or not Mandy, uh, Leah, you good? Okay. Thought you looked confused. All right. So that's basically what I do. And the more that you can go and make call to actions and posts like that, the more people they, they liked or commented on it. Like they opened the door to talk about that. So why the heck not? You know what I mean? Um, uh, and so instead of like, Hey, how's the weather? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to go and say, I know I made another one that I have some people that I need to get back from. Okay. I like literally, I can't, I get tagged in this probably 10 times a day. Everybody knows I love guacamole. I get tagged in guacamole things like every day. So this is, oh, that was Melissa's birthday post. Give me one second. And guys, I can't tell you enough. Like just make sure you're posting often because like this has nothing to do with anything. This was a, a video I took of Elsie. And then I said, my niece, jumping into my to-do list, like <laughs> she's just like jumping off the boat. Like make people laugh and they're gonna wanna come back to your page. Like be yourself. If you're if you have like a sailor mouth, like use it. Like, cause you wanna find your tribe. So don't censor yourself. <laughs> so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't censor yourself. Don't try to be perfect because you want to be as you as you can be. So you're going to find your tribe. So, um, all right. So Natalie, I'm not sending that. Okay. So where is, so I did a lot of stuff. We just had our diamond retreat. So I have a lot of, um, kind of interaction on some of our posts. This was Michael's. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find this darn mom bod boot camp thing I made. Um, and this was a really fun, if you guys have a aviary, download the app A V I A R Y and you can do a color splash and then just like do, so it's black and white and then just do this. And it's so fun. Like, honestly, like I usually put a filter on every picture I post because people are not going to stop for blurry, dark pictures. So, um, if you are taking a selfie, stand in front of a window, if possible, face the window, don't face away. Cause if you're taking a picture and the light is behind you, it's going to be dark. So anytime I'm taking a picture or doing a video, I'm trying to natural light is best. So I try to take face the window and I'm telling you little things like that makes such a difference. So, um, all right. So here is my mom bod boot camp. Um, I, and like, honestly, sometimes I just do a post about like Adley, this whole thing was about our matching outfit. And then it said, um, basically how I used to think I didn't want kids. Um, uh, da, 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 I was able to love myself and be proud of my hard work in our photo shoot instead of picking apart every little thing about my body. I didn't like about myself. I've been blessed to be able to help other women love the skin they're in. So let me ask you, what would it mean for you to look in the mirror and smile and, and feel proud instead of tearing yourself down? If that could help you in life, message me because that feeling right there is so worth the effort. Like how real was that sentence? You know what I mean? Like, yep, I could use that. I could use that. So I need you to like get them in the feels and think about where you were in your dark moment as a hot mess mom and what you wanted help with. What did you just like sit there and say, man, I wish whatever. Like, so that's where you kind of have to get them in the feels kind of thing. So I said, I'm opening up a new mom bod boot camp next week. If you're ready to join the most positive, supportive virtual boot camp, message me. We're doing virtual buddy challenges too. So fun. Um, so I have a bunch of people that liked it. So I'm actually going to message anybody. Some, a lot of them are coaches and things like that. So I'm actually tomorrow on my to-do list is to go through and do this. So I'm going to message them and say, Hey girl, thanks so much for the love on my post. Oh my gosh. It means so much to me. I, it's been a crazy week. So I'm so sorry. I'm just now getting back to you. Cause I think I posted this on Monday and I still haven't like September 17th, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. And I still haven't done this. So I use, I like to do a call to action post every day so that the next morning when I do that power half hour, I'm messaging all of them. And they were, they are usually either going to be my Hey Girls or my invites. And if they liked or something like, I'm usually, this is what I usually always say, Hey girl, thanks so much for the love on my mom bod boot camp post. Oh my gosh, it means so much to me to have other, you know, 
hot mess moms on this um, journey with me. Tell me about you and your and your um, daughter. You know, um, do you think you could handle thirty minute workouts from home, or what are your goals? And I so I always ask and with a question. So, um, mom bod, count, count me in. And that picture is so cute. So I would send her a message. Hey girl. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the love of my post. Your little man is getting so big. She has a son, a couple of months younger than, than Adley. Um, I can, I, and you know, I've talked to her about like postpartum depression before. So I try to get like a little bit more of like my personality and, and in depth with people. Heather, um, this girl, maybe I'll ask her to join me. Heather on our call. Um, okay, so so at least people are like, I went in, I went in, and they don't even like know what it is. So I'm going to message all of them. Oh, this doesn't usually happen. Hey, I'd love to join. Send me your Shaco link too. I need to snag some. Oh, sure. Why don't? Why not? <laughs> so I did message her, <laughs> but that doesn't usually happen. So I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna message them all, and then I am going to show you guys in beautifully made. Some really okay. awesome things that are going to help you with um, how to talk to people. So I'm going to wrap this up by 9:30. So I gotta, I gotta get to bed. Actually, I gotta watch TV. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I, I like Wednesday is like my TV night. I do, Monday and Tuesday, I like I usually either go to bed or do something. But um, photo, photo, photos. I'm sorry. Like I said, my brain doesn't work at night. Okay, so click on, so in Beautifully Made, click on albums. All right, so I've got these things too. Anytime you wanna make a Shaco ingredient post, I've already got some in here. It's got a picture, it's got like literally text, you can make it into a post. Um, funny memes and graphics, you, uh, you can use any of these for engagement because it's awesome for um, people to put things like uh, that are gonna comment. You know, if you, motivational pics for a post, um, so you can go through there. Um, and then challenge groups, ideas, topic, tips, and templates, volume and coach placement, training and tips. And then invites, connections, hate girls. So this is, so literally you can go through there and get so, such good stuff. So within this, each picture that you click on has um, comments that are helpful. So invite tips and examples. So if you go through the comments, and I continuously add in here um, things that I've said in the past, like, uh, okay, so this says, I, hey, Sandra, I just wanted you to know that I am on a serious mission right now to help 10 people this month lose 10 to 15 pounds. Would you do me a favor and send anyone? You could do that. I don't think I, that's an indirect invite. I don't usually do that. Um, let's see. Sent invites, here's a little sample. This girl liked to shift shop post, so I sent her this invite, and here's how it unfolded. Hey, sweetie, thanks for the love on my post lately. It means a lot. I saw you're interested in the shift shop workout I'm in the test group for. Oh, my gosh, it's been kicking my butt so much, LOL, but I love it. I told my husband I can see my abs again after 10 days on this program. Do you think it's something you'd be interested in trying with me? She said, hey, yes, I'm interested in trying it. I actually fractured my hip this summer, so my workouts have basically been non-existent. I've been cleared to exercise again, blah, blah, blah. Is it something I could do at home? OMG, how did you do that? So glad you're healed and ready. So I still talk about something. I don't go right into the next thing. Yes, you could definitely do it from home. The first week workouts are 25 minutes, blah, 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 blah. Um, can you handle that? So don't give them all the information. Do short little things. Can you handle that? And then da, da, da. If you're like, and then you get this meal plan, and then you get this container, and you get da, 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 they're going to be like, oh, my gosh. So I, less is more, I think, especially, um, you know, trying to, and then just ask end with a question. Um, so yeah, so I would love to have you join me so pumped for our next boot camp and have you in it. So you can sign up with the all access bod and we'll have access to shift shop as soon as it's released. Um, there's a special deal with Shakeology right now. It's only $30 with Shaco for the year. So you get $6,000 with the workup for 12 months, 30 meals of Shakeology, a new meal plan, portion control container. So helpful. Shaker Cup, instant access to all future release programs, 10% off. Well, that's not, that went away. The 10% off went away. And access to my killer accountability groups where I pair you up with a workout buddy, all for 160. My girls have been throwing a three-day vegan cleanse for $45 since it's on special this month. So if you wanted to add that on, it would be 205. It's a perfect cleanse before a wedding or trip or to kickstart your weight loss. You know how awesome it feels when you see results? It motivates you to push harder, right? That's why I like to have my clients start with that. So what option sounds best for you? So I literally am like, 
what option sounds best for you? Do you want the cleanse or do you want just the shake and the, then the workouts? Like, it's so easy. It's, I mean, not, I'm not saying it's so easy, but literally, like, and if they're like, hmm, I have to think about it. Okay, you know, what, what, what can I help you with? Or what do you need more information on? And send screenshots to us. Send screenshots to your coach. Send screenshots to this group chat that we created. Um, you know, we want you to ask us because in the beginning, it's all about learning how to talk to people. So please, please, please go in here. There's also Hey Girl, Yo Bro tips and examples. So how to start talking to people, um, follow-up message tips and examples. There's all kinds of, of things in here. So please, please, please use, use, use this in Beautifully Made. Um, there's, I, and I've put so much stuff. Oh, you're amazing. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> he, apparently he went to the store cause we were almost out of toilet paper. Actually we were out of toilet paper. We were using baby wipes. <laughs> Hashtag anyone can be a coach. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that's basically like my biggest tips I wanted to give is when you are in a crunch, like I want you to just be the best challenger you can be. I want you to like post, post regularly and post those like actionable, like it doesn't have to be like comment below or message me, but make a post once a day, either about coaching or a challenge group so that the next day that's where you, you're going to go and message people from. And in the beginning, you may not have a ton of interaction. You may not have a ton of engagement. I didn't either. But the best thing that you can do is keep posting because the way Facebook works is as people comment and like with you, they're going to see your stuff more in their newsfeed. So that's why I love to do those things. Have you guys seen those things where it's like drop a gift below that describes your relationship or drop a gift below that describes whatever the, the gift is so easy and it's so funny for people to do and all of those people that are commenting are going to now see your post, your fitness post in the future. Um, if you're going to get your hair done, I don't care if you are dead set on what you're going to do, do an A, B, and C. Guys, I'm about to get my hair done. Which one should I do? I don't care. Literally, you have to ask this question. <laughs> um, maybe you're going on a date and you, know, you want to um, say, hey, which outfit, A, B, or C, or one, two, three. Or you know you're at Marshalls and you see some things that you really want, and even if you're not buying it, like hey, I've I have a really big goal I'm about to hit in my business, and um, I'm going to um, you know uh, save up and what are, I cannot talk I'm sorry and reward myself. Which one do you like best? So stuff like that. Um, so you know going through and just getting people people love to tell you their opinion on everything, everything, even when you don't want it, especially mom and pregnancies and, you know, stuff like that. So let them tell you about your shoes and your hair <laughs> so that they can see your fitness post. So that, that's probably the best thing is post regularly, try to do one or two like fitness lifestyle, like either something about like mom life. Like for me, like I've never, I never brush my hair. Um, so I might post about something about that. Um, it might be about guacamole, Adley, the dog. Um, and then I'm going to post one fo motivational, inspirational, or funny. Um, and then I'm going to post something that's like join my challenge group. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm actually, but when we get off the phone, I'm going to, um, share, share, um, um, other, other, Keep wanting to say, say and say um, Heather, Heather, Shields, Shields. <laughs> um, um, before and after, I'm finding it. I just need to share chat. Heather, yeah. actually, you did this one last week. That's the picture I saw. Like, I need that. So um, make sure you guys all are our friends uh, too. So Heather, I'm just going to add you to this group chat if you don't mind. And then we can all be in here. There you go. Okay, so we have a little group chat of like newbie coaches. Um, so we can ask me and, and use me. Don't think that I'm like too busy because honestly, like I don't check my messages unless I have time to sit there and answer. So you're not gonna bother me because I don't I don't check my phone unless I need it. My my coaches and my clients know that if you need me and you need me right away, you text me because I don't check my Facebook messengers, my Facebook messages as soon as I get them. Because I have a life, I have a mom, I also have another job. And you can, you, you can train your, your customers and your coaches to do that as well. So 
that's why I'm, you know, if somebody might ask me a question, I say, you know what, that's a great idea. And that is a great question for Beautifully Made. And could, would you mind asking in there? And the beautiful thing about that is, is that new, other new coaches are going to learn from that when you post that and people see your response too. So I train my coaches, go there and ask there, and it's going to help other people as well. And I want you guys to do that too, because I don't want you to live on your phone. I don't want you to. I want you to enjoy being a mom, get great results, and encourage people along the way. You know, I don't want you to be like stressed out because you have to do this, this, and this, and this. Work smarter, not harder. So focus on the most important stuff. Check in with your challenger each, challengers each day and check in that as a challenger each day. Um, Liz is a rock star. I always know I'm going to see her sweaty selfie in our challenge group. She even like runs hers, but she still, you know, has that workout buddy. I paired her up with one of my clients, Melissa, who's literally bought probably 15 challenge packs, but, and was a coach for a little while, but then decided she doesn't want to, <laughs> but she's crazy. She literally is just like beach body in love. So, um, you know, they, she, Liz still checks in in there because she loves that. She loves her buddy. So, you know, it's just so cool to see people checking in, having buddies. Like li I've had people like literally like buy matching shirts and send them to their buddies and then they take pictures side by side and they make a post and they tag each other. So, you know, I honestly, if you're not using buddy systems in your challenge groups, you're, you're, you're not doing your coaches, you know, your challengers. As, as good of an experience as it can be. And if you guys would just want to use my challenge group, because Liz, you've got your people in mind, right? I have some of them in there. I'm going to start adding more people, I think. My challenge group has been kind of like dead. Every week, somebody will be like, oh, like five or six people are like, oh, yeah, we want to go. We want to go hard. And then it's literally me and Leah doing all of the posting and no one's really commenting. And then everyone's like, no, I want to do it. I want to do it. So... I did throw out a message the other day talking about your challenge group and how it's bigger and there is more people participating if anyone wanted to jump on, um, jump on in there. What I would do is, yeah, get them in mind for like a month or two. And then I would probably make a brand new group and mm -hmm. only put the people that are active in there. Um, but you know, as you're growing your team, you know, you've got, yeah, you've got Mandy, you've got Corey, um, then you get, you'll have more and more people. So, you know, I, I, it does do so much better when you do have active people. Um, but I think that that group, they're already like lurking, they're not posting, they're not doing anything. So I think when you do it, just create a new group and just mm -hmm. get people that want it. So okay. by all means, get people in there. And then um, you can make sure that you get people buddied up and I'll randomly just post about it. But Liz, I'm pretty sure you're an admin in there too. So you can always make a buddy post. Like I just go on word swag and I create a, Hey, if you need a buddy comment below. And then I post that picture and then say, Hey, if you guys need a buddy or your buddy pooped out and you need re reassigned comment below. And like, I'm not calling anybody out, but like you, if you want, if you got assigned a buddy and your buddy isn't posting, I want you to be accountable with somebody. So I've had so many people that are like my buddy going to work out. I'm like, okay, let's get you another one. Um, and so, um, I like to post that. I probably post that at least every two weeks, um, where I make sure that I get people buddied up. So I just want you guys to simplify it. Be a great challenger, post regularly, send 10, send, spend 10 minutes doing Hey Girls, 10 minutes doing invites, 10 minutes doing follow-ups. And um, everything you post on Facebook, just slap it on Instagram. And I, I would really strongly suggest that you guys start doing Instagram and Facebook stories. I know it's one more thing, but all of the top coaches are saying Instagram stories are where it's at. And they are not even, they're getting challengers from their Instagram stories, not even their Instagram posts. So what I mean by Instagram, do you guys all know what Instagram stories are? Heather, do you know what Instagram story is? I can't hear you. You're muted, but yes or no. Kind of. <laughs> it took me a second to un I was texting my success partner. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, so I, I know what it is, but I don't really know the gist of it. Okay, so you I'm, I'm brand new on Instagram. No, you're fine. You go to Instagram, this top left, that little camera. Okay, mm -hmm. so they, you can do boomerang, you can do, you can upload a picture. So also, if you are, if do you use Snapchat? Um, just for the filters. 
Right, 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 right. So if you're on Snapchat and you use a filter, I always save it to my story, send it to a couple people, and then um, I, if it's a good one, I want to add to my Instagram story. I'll down, I'll save it, mm -hmm. and then you can actually on your Instagram story, you can actually just pick a picture. Oh, okay. Well, I, apparently that's not square, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can just pick a picture and then you can add words or you can like, you know, circle, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so you could even do like your Snapchat, download it, and upload it here. But what I, I try to do is undo, undo. I don't even know how to get out of here. What I try to do is, you know, energize. If I'm, if I'm drinking energize or something like that, I'm going to take a picture of me shaking up. And I love the boomerang app. The boomerang is like basically a quick little, like maybe five second of like you moving. So if you're shaking, you're energized, then it just continuously plays. It's like a quick five second, and then you're like. <laughs> but, um, so, but I would I would try to do maybe like one meal. Um, I, I try to do like something while I'm doing a workout or after, um, and then I'll do like energize. I'll do a shako, um, you know, and then I'll do something silly with Adley or something like that because you still want people to get to know you. But honestly, I'm in a mastermind group with a bunch of like six star diamond coaches that, that are all elite and, the, and like they're all saying like I'm literally Instagram stories are amazing right now. And they're not they're they're doing like kind of like selling their stuff um, without even, you know, inviting people. Mm -hmm. and apparently I have to look into this. Apparently from Instagram, if you swipe up, you can go you can add in a link. And there's a hands-free. There's also a hands-free. If you guys scroll over, there's a hands-free. So it'll, you can push this and it'll count down and um, be a video. And then you don't even have to hold it. So you can okay, do that. That's good. Like mm -hmm. a or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly, I don't use it a ton. I'm just like, my goal is to get better at doing that because I know it works. Other people work. And I, I, I don't want to add one more thing to my, my to-do list or anything like that. But honestly, if I spend a couple seconds, you know, a couple, you know, say I spend two minutes on this Instagram story four times a day, that's eight minutes that's going to drive my business. That's worth it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I would make a goal to do at least three Instagram stories a day. And that's where people are going to connect with you. So, um, you know, I would rather you, you focus on, on doing that and inter engaging with people, um, than scroll Facebook. So, so just try to do that. I'm going to try it too. We'll see how it works. Um, Heather, Rachel, your coach, Rachel D D DiMatteo is yes. researching Instagram stories and all kinds of stuff. She's got some good tips. So I'm going to actually have her go live. Um, sometime maybe this weekend, I haven't asked her yet. So when she gets a chance, I'm going to have her go live about some Instagram story stuff too. But I want you guys to just simplify it, have fun and focus on making this business fun. I don't want people to get into this business to hit diamond to, you know, do this, do that, because that's not why you started as a coach. You didn't even know what a diamond coach was, you know? And if you are focusing on being an awesome challenger, getting results, sharing your results, you know, celebrating your, your clients and your coaches as they get results, um, it's just the results are going to come. So I need you to focus on you, focus on how it's changing you, share your story, be raw, be vulnerable, don't try to be perfect, and people are just going to want to be around you. And, you know, I just, I'm so glad that you guys hopped on. I'm, I have been blabbing for over an hour, so I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to get going. But do you guys have any specific questions and was anything I said helpful? Hmm. So how do you, um, I have like 10 people that I could count on my hands right now that is interested in coaching, but, um, oh, I broke my nails. Don't mind. <laughs> so they're interested in coaching. So how do you get them to sign up? Like, I talk to like 20 people a day. Nobody who signs up. I have one challenger and she doesn't do it. Okay. That's probably something in the way that you're messaging people. So start a group chat with me and Rachel, your coach, mm -hmm. and send some screenshots and we will help you tomorrow. Okay. So send some screenshots from some 
it's from some people in the past. And the other thing that I, guys, you can always do, um, either reach out to me or, you know, your coach or Liz or whoever, but, um, feel free to come to me is if you have somebody that's either interested in a challenge group or coaching, you can start a three-way chat with that person and either me or something like that. I just ask that you ask me first. Cause like I said, I don't check my messages unless I'm there. So I don't want you to start a message and then me not check it for four hours. Mm -hmm. Um, but anytime you do that, whoever, whether it's your coach or it's me, um, kind of edify that person when you start that, you know, Hey girl, um, this is my coach. April. She's awesome. She's been doing this business for, you know, four years. She actually was able to, she has a 10 month old daughter and she's been able to get back in her free business. Um, I told her that you're interested in joining our challenge group and I'm, I'm newer to this. I'm still trying to figure it out. So she just, um, you know, said that she would love to kind of tell you about it. Um, and so, and then introduce her to me. So you kind of like toot my horn or your coach's horn so that you edify that person so that that person's like, Oh, cool. This person's awesome. Not because I want to have my horn tooted, but because I, you know, then what I'm saying means more to them than I, you know, I'm not just Joe Schmo. So mm -hmm. feel free to use that three-way conversation. And, um, you know, we are happy to do that because you're, if you're successful, we're successful. So, um, I just think that you just need to lean in, talk to your coach, um, share screenshots. I would love to use the group chat that I just added you to Heather. So I want to use that group chat. Um, and you guys can post any questions or comments there, um, you know, bounce ideas off of us. But the more that you can kind of connect with other coaches that are kind of on the same level with you, the better you're going to do. Um, you know, I put Liz in a, a, a group with um, three or four other coaches and they are, were just killing it. They were constantly talking, constantly asking questions. And our group has kind of died down. I miss you guys. I need to pop in there and see how everyone's doing. But, you know, they're, they're, uh, that, that was, that was what I love to do with newer coaches because then you know that you're not alone. So, mm -hmm. so use that group chat that I just added you guys to. And if you guys have any questions, post them beautifully made tag, tag me, your, your, your coach, whatever. Um, but you know, I just, I just like to tell you it's not brain surgery. And if somebody tells you, no, that's okay. Like they didn't, they weren't in your challenge group before you asked them, what's the, what's the difference? Nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. They just know that you were thinking of them. And, and it probably made them feel special that you thought they could either be a coach or that you thought, you know, and that's kind of why I, I like to say like, you know, I thought you'd be perfect for this. And so I just wanted to message you because I'm looking for other positive, happy moms and people are like, Oh, you think I'm positive? Like, Oh, sweet. You know, um, you know, or people just like me and like, Oh, that's so sweet. And so it doesn't matter even if they don't join you, it's cool to make somebody feel like you, th you thought of them. So mm -hmm. all of it, a lot of it just comes with you talking from your heart, um, like you would just to your best friend and don't try to be perfect. Be yourself, be as raw and vulnerable as you can be. Um, most of you guys, is, uh, Liz is, you know, your upline and most of us, she does an awesome job at posting. Um, she did a super, was it today? Of yeah, a, a vulnerable post about, you know, like six months ago where she was versus today. It was a really great post. So, um, take a look at the leaders that are posting a lot in our team page, follow them, look at their, what they're posting and things like that. And, and look, take what other people are using, make it a template. Don't copy and paste it, but make it your own. And so I do that all the time. I look at other coaches. I'm like, Oh, that's a great idea. I love that. So feel free to take, you know, other things that other people do make it your own. And, you know, if you see somebody, you know, you saw Heather shared a before and after, feel free to like message her. Hey, I, I don't, can I share that Heather girl's transformation? You know, even if you don't know who she is or anything like that, you know, you can always reach out to somebody, but anybody in our team is usually going to say, yeah, for sure. Go through, say, share my results. So that's kind of all I had. I am going to